Hey, this is Paul, and here on The Friendly Reviewer, we do a ton of reviews on the MacBook Pro and other technology. Make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more videos just like this one. Now, when I first got my 2016 MacBook Pro, I noticed a little slot in the sides, and as these things get thinner and thinner, they have to keep changing the design to let the air to flow in and out for heat transfer. Now, I was really curious what would happen if you spilled right next to it, if the liquid just flow right into it or not. And I have little kids at my house, so this happens a lot. So it's a valid concern. Well, we're gonna take a look at that in this video. This is the 15 inch 2016 MacBook Pro. There are slots on the bottom of either side and on the back to allow for airflow. The opening of the slots are cut out the case at an angle. Inside the slots are smaller slots that allow for the airflow in and out of the case. Even though it looks like the slot is right at the bottom of the case, looks can be deceiving. The bottom of the MacBook Pro is tapered around the edges, and there are also little feet that raise it up as well. My concern when I first saw this is what will happen if I spill something near it. One good thing is that the liquid will have to go up and over, so it's protected from spray, getting into the slots from the side, and also the lid helps protect the back when it's open. But a wave will make it right through. The other good news is that the liquid can flow under the laptop since the feet raise it up, so it won't make the wave increase in size when it hits against the side of the laptop. After some careful measurements, I found that there's only about four to five millimeters of clearance before something that gets spilled will make it into the case. To test this out, we're gonna spill two ounces, four ounces, and eight ounces of liquid on a table. Unfortunately, I don't make enough money on YouTube to destroy my laptop just for this test, and I wouldn't advise you to do it either. So instead, I'm gonna use a board with little feet representing the height that it would be needed to get the liquid into the laptop. Using space gray construction paper on the top, we can see where the liquid goes. If the liquid gets on top of the board and gets the construction paper wet, it would have gotten into the laptop. The first test is with two ounces of liquid. This is a fairly small amount of liquid. You can see that even with the feet keeping it off the table, the water still builds up enough to get over the lip. The edge of the paper is a little wet this probably wouldn't ruin your computer, but I wouldn't want the liquid to get in there. Next, we're gonna test it out with four ounces of liquid. Looking closely, you can see a large wave of liquid building up at the edge. Looking at the construction paper, you can see it's quite a bit more wet than the two ounce test. The last test is with eight ounces of fluid. This would be considered a large spill. This is a fair amount of liquid. It is so much liquid that you can see that it floated away the board and knocked the paper over. We're going to give this a try one more time, but this time I'm going to hold it down. There's a large amount of liquid that comes up and over the side. The liquid would actually be routed right into the side of the laptop if this occurred from the side. We don't even need to, but looking at the paper, we can see that there's a lot of liquid that would have gotten into the computer. You definitely would not want this liquid in your laptop. If this would happen to you, you'd probably want to immediately power it off, try to drain the liquid out, and then let it dry out before powering it on again. After performing these tests, you can see that my concerns were real. If you spill a moderate to large amount of liquid right next to the laptop, it could flow right into those air vents and get in there and potentially cause some issues. So if you eat lunch and drink a lot next to your laptop, or have kids that spill next to your laptop, be extra careful. A bug flying around. Okay, anyways, back to the video. Make sure to be careful. So this has been Paul checking out what happens if you spill next to your MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching. Really, this bug here.